Hi, this is Katie. My hair is this color now. Do we like it? I don't know. But it's the, it's it already happened, so. Hi, this is Katie, and I am in New Jersey. Because some people do come here voluntarily. It's actually not that bad. It's really not that bad. I am still in the Northeast which you know because I just said I was in New Jersey. Um, I'm going back to Montana tomorrow, but I need to do a video today, so my dad let me borrow his car. So that's where I am right now, just in case you're wondering why I'm in a car that looks clean. So this video is gonna be about why traveling by car is better than traveling by plane, AKA why planes suck. Okay, ready, go. Number one, I hate all the waiting. Flying is basically waiting for your flight, waiting outside of your plane, waiting on the plane, and then waiting for somebody to pick you up. When you're in your car and you're driving, you're not waiting because you're doing something. Which some people probably prefer flying for just that fact of they'd rather just sit and not do anything. I would not. That makes me so bored. Like I can't like blast my music. I can't like talk to somebody on the phone. And I just don't like it. Number two, I don't know about you guys, but I immediately get motion sickness the second I walk into an airport. My body's just like, nah, -uh, Katie, you're not supposed to be that high in the air. I know where you are. I know what you're doing. I know where you live. What is wrong with you? You're gonna want to throw up for the next eight hours. But that also happens when I'm a passenger in the car. I just, ah, ah, my nose, itchy. Number, whatever, I don't want a number anymore, so I'm not gonna number anymore. The next one is that if you see a baby in the little waiting area before you get on the plane, you know for sure that baby is going to sit right in front of you and it is going to scream the whole entire time. Why is my face so itchy? Mm -mm. You can't open the windows. You can't open the windows for fresh air. You can't open the windows to like cool down. You can't open the windows to let your dog stick their head out of the windows. You can't open the windows so you can stick your head out of the window. You just can't, you can't open the windows. If you open the windows on an airplane, your head would fly off. But in the car, you can have the windows open all the time. Maybe that's not a problem for you, but it, I like the windows open. I feel like that's what windows are for except for on a submarine. Don't do that either. These are probably also reasons why traveling by car is better than a submarine. You can't open the windows. You drown, maybe. Do you have mask things? I am getting so far off the topic. Next, it doesn't, <sighs> a pilot that you don't even know, some stranger guy who's obviously cool because he can fly planes, but you give him complete control of when you're allowed to pee. Like, they put that little seatbelt sign on, nuh-uh, you're not allowed to go, no matter how many Red Bulls you had on the plane to keep you awake, or no matter how many things of vodka you had to make you go to sleep. That pilot, complete control of your bladder and digestive system. No, I wanna be in control of my own bladder. I feel like that's not a hard thing to ask, right? When you're driving, I can pee whenever I want. I mean, when there's a rest stop, I'm not an animal. I don't know about you guys, but it is hard for me to lift heavy things over my head. I am a weak little girl. When you're in the car and you wanna like put your luggage in the car, you just have to lift it like a foot or two. When you're on a plane, you have to turn into the Hulk and lift your giant suitcase over your head and put it into a very small compartment that it barely fits into. hard for me. The next thing is if you're in a car and you see in and out you can stop and eat. If you're in a car and you see a sign for the world's biggest ball of yarn made out of grasshoppers, you can stop and see that. When you're in a plane, A, all you see is clouds which are beautiful, but you can't stop and get out of the plane and go hang out in the clouds. So that sucks. So basically, most of the reasons that I don't like flying and that I prefer driving over flying 
is because I like to be in control. I got a text, that's why I looked over here. The reason that I prefer driving is because I like to be in control of everything. Of when I want to pee, of what I want to eat, of when I want to stop and see yarn made out of grasshoppers. And, okay, the last one, which is a big one, which if you guys disagree, let me know in the comments. I cannot for the life of me sleep for more than like five minutes on a plane. I just can't, I can't do it. But in the car, you have so much more room and, excuse me, and you have so many more options of sleeping. And you can actually sleep almost lying down, if not absolutely, definitely 100% lying down. On a plane, you have to sleep like this. I can't do that. That's too hard. That's too hard. And you have to sleep when there's other people around you. You don't know what they're gonna do. What if they draw a mustache on your face with a Sharpie? On that note, of all the, the mini complaining about flying, I have to get on a plane tomorrow at 6 a.m. to go back to Montana, which is fine. The miracle of flight is wonderful, and I am very grateful for it. I just don't prefer it over driving. I just don't. I just don't. Especially because the motion sickness thing, man, I really do. Like, plain done. Want to puke for the rest of the day. Not a fun feeling, guys. Do you guys get motion sickness? If you do, let me know in the comments. And let me know if you guys have any ideas how to not get motion sickness. Like, if you can, like, count backwards from 45 or, like, drink ginger ale or pressure point things. I don't know. But if you have any ways to get rid of it, please let me know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I put out videos every Tuesday and Friday. I don't know why I said Friday like that. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.